Hey, small groups, open up your Bibles to the book of Mark. Today, we're going to be covering chapter 14, verses 12 to 26. And we're going to be answering the question, how do you know if your faith is authentic? Today, we're going to be looking at the Last Supper of Jesus. And we're going to focus on his comment that one of his disciples would betray him. Before we get to that, why don't you pause and read Matthew 7, verse 21, which is a verse where Jesus is warning us that there are going to be some people who say that they're Christians, they say that they're believers, they say they know Jesus, but they really don't. Okay, so on to Mark chapter 14. In this text, Jesus' disciples prepared for the Passover meal, which would have included bread and four cups of wine. The bread called matzo, or also known as the bread of affliction, evoked the hardships endured by the Israelites during their enslavery in Egypt. Why don't you pause as a group and read those verses on the screen? Now, when Jesus drank the third cup, called the cup of redemption, he ended up giving it new meaning. It wasn't just about a lamb's blood. It was about the blood Jesus himself was about to shed. Pause and read those verses now on the screen. Now, here's the point of this whole lesson for today. We saved verses 17 to 21 until now. See, before this meal, Jesus had told his disciples that one of them would betray him. And here's the interesting part. They all asked the same question. They all asked, am I the one? Pause and read those verses for yourself so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now here's the question we're going to be asking and answering in small group today. How do you know if your faith is authentic? How do you know if you're a Judas or a Peter? Because if you think about it, both Judas and Peter betrayed Jesus. Both Judas and Peter did things that they regretted. But for Judas, we know how his story is going to end. He's going to end up, you know, deserting Jesus, betraying Jesus, and never returning. But Peter, even though he betrayed Jesus, Peter ends up becoming a great leader in the church. Peter's faith goes the distance. So the question for us is, how do I know if I'm a Judas or a Peter? Now, if you haven't already, I really encourage you to listen to that full audio podcast because we get into great depth on how you can answer that question. There's two additional questions that you can ask and answer in order to answer this question on the screen. Anyway, that's what you're going to be talking about today. So use those discussion questions down below and have a conversation about it.